And this is the Population Connection Capitol Hill Days for 2015. We're advocating for the right of a woman to choose how to plan her family and legislative support for those choices. Um, essentially, we believe that the woman has a right to plan out her pregnancies and to have access and availability to contraceptives, and it shouldn't be affected by legislative back and forth and bureaucracy. The first night we had a welcoming reception, and then the first day was really long. We went from 9 o'clock in the morning until about 5, full of information sessions, all of the information that we would need, including um, statistics about family planning around the world that we can use in lobbying sessions as well as information about the acts and laws that are in place that we either want repealed or strengthened, depending on the, what the substance of those laws is, um, and information about population connection itself and why this issue is really important, not just for women's rights, but for population growth, sustainable development. I mean, really, this organization has implications all over the map. We get a chance to listen to a bunch of really awesome speakers from various walks of life and various interests. They show different viewpoints and vantages of the issues that we're talking about and really give us information that will help us when we lobby on Monday and potentially Tuesday. We had a speaker from Uganda come and share her work with sustainable development um, in Africa. Um, and then we talk a little bit about the repealing of the global gag rule. And we had a fantastic session that really broke down what is the global gag rule, how does it affect um, international policy, um, and we're able to, to really see exactly what these issues are, how they affect us, and then connect that again to how are we going to change it? How, what are we going to do to make a difference? Uh, Lisa Russell's presentation hit me because she brought a new perspective and a new change that we can make as youth. Like she really like empowered us as young people to like bring our voices up and that we do have a power. So we learn about the issues, we learn about why they're important and kind of what we can do to make change and then we go to Congress on Monday and try to make change. We're here to advocate for international family planning and to explain to our representatives how important it is to us and how important it is for them to support it. Right now we can go speak to our senators and make our voice heard. So that's why it's probably one of the most important things to do because where laws are made, that's how uh, that's how society is governed, so that's how we can really make an impact. It gives you the chance to really experience D.C. for all that it is. It's not just a tourist capital, it's not just a vacation spot. It's a place where change is made and change happens. And it's really, it's so exciting to be in the middle of it, to be a part of that revolution that's happening worldwide. I'm from a small town. I go to college in a small town. I've never been to D.C. before. I've always been very politically minded, so it's just amazing for me to be down here, you know, in the political heart of the country, getting to advocate for something I really care about. It's an amazing experience just learning about advocacy and learning about the different topics that are very important to the world today and being able to then apply that knowledge to a meeting with your congressman or woman. So I think it's um, very important that students as well as adults get involved in all of this, these issues. Um, it's really great for young adults to have the chance to be able to go to D.C. and really talk about what's important. I think this is really important because one of the groups in the issue of international family planning that's been often overlooked is young people. Young women my age who don't have the option, the options that I have as a young woman in America, there are women all across the world who are my age that don't have the same opportunities and rights that I have. So to have that demographic here lobbying I think makes a huge difference. I would re recommend this conference to anyone that's really involved, that's really in um, interested in women's empowerment, um, education, poverty, uh, eliminating poverty, whatever the cycle be. I think everything's interlinked and I think we need more people to come together and definitely make their voices heard. It's a very educational experience and on top of it, these, uh, this is one of the few times you can have direct contact and uh, reach with uh, your senators and the government. Uh, when can you say you actually get to make an impact like you do when you're here for Capitol Hill days? I'd never lobbied anywhere. I'd never thought that my voice would actually do something. And as cliche as it sounds, I feel like everyone's been saying it, but it, it affects you somewhere inside and it makes you want to take that message, spread it to your senator and spread it to people you live with and who you know. So. Um, I had no idea really kind of what we could do to, to 
to change our current population trends, but after attending the conference, I have a clear action plan of what Congress can do, tangible ideas of this, it, this will make a difference. If we specifically do these three things, we can make a dent. Um, and so, so many people get frustrated when they hear about issues and they feel like, you know, we're just one person, what can we do to, to make a change? Um, but attending conferences like this that provide you with that toolkit, that those specific actions that you can do make, make an imperative difference.